I think this is good excuse to skip velocity transformation. But let me put it this way. Um, so I am still going to give you questions that do require velocity, relativistic velocity transformation. What I would ask you to do is this, read the book. Uh, oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong element. Okay. So this is what I would ask you to do. Read the book. In the book, they uh, actually do drive uh, velocity transformation. You can read it if you want. Not required, because obviously I'm not covering it. Do know the formulas. And know how to apply it. Good. So, um, and I'll give you some questions that do use this. So you shouldn't know how to use it. But uh, I will tell you, when we do collision questions, we will essentially stay away from velocity transformation. Will any collision questions that we'll see in the future after we've done quantum mechanics, you are going to strictly stick with the energy and momentum because they form part of this nice the four vector stuff and it comes out really nice. But um, you should, you know where to look up the formula in the book. I think that's enough for you to do the questions that I'm going to assign you.